This video covers editing your content on your site. The Milo sites are not standard in that when you go to edit your content, those edits do not automatically display publicly. Rather, what happens is you start off by creating a draft of your changes, and then when you're ready, you will publish those changes so that they replace the public version. You'll see up here at the top of this page, I'm logged in as the administrator of this league. And at the top of the about page, I have three tabs, view, publish, new draft, and moderate. View published will always show me the version that the public is currently looking at. When I have a new draft, I'll also have a tab that says view draft. And this will show me the version of the content as it is currently existing in the draft that will eventually replace the published version. So let's go ahead and see that by creating a new draft. This is my about page and if I want to make a change to this content, I can go ahead and do so here. So let me go ahead and add an image. This will be a pretty dramatic change that will make it easy for me to see the success or not of this edit. So I'm going to go ahead and use the media browser. I'm going to look for an image that's here for demonstration purposes. And I'll find this Golden Gate Bridge image and go ahead and put that into my page. There are other vi videos that talk about managing images. I'm strictly doing this right now for the purpose of demonstrating the changes so I'm not going to talk about how I'm formatting this image. I'm simply going to make this very dramatic visual work so that we can see how it looks in the view and then see the difference between what the public sees and the draft that will eventually replace the public version. So I've added this change. I've put this image in here. And now I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom and I'm going to save. Okay, so now there are a few changes to what I'm looking at. First of all, up here at the top, I see revision state is draft. I also have a tool here that would allow me to publish this revision state. I can see my image here. Obviously, there might be some formatting that I want to work with, but I'm not going to worry about that here. But I can take a look at my image and this works. Now, if I go to this particular site as a public user, I'm going to see the published version. So I'm clicking on this tab here, View Published, and it does not have that image. So this is what the public sees. If I want to see my changes, then I can view my draft. And if I want to continue editing my changes, I can click Edit Draft and go back to the form. Let me show you something that you'll see at the top of the View Draft and View Publish tabs. We're on the View Draft tab right now and it says Revision Status Draft. This is the most recent revision of this content. And right here, I can click this button to publish this particular content. And if I do so at this moment, it will replace the published version. But I'm not going to do that here because I want to show you some of the other ways that you can do that. Let's pop over to View Published for a moment. And what I want to show you is this warning that you see up here at the top. Revision state is published. This is the one that the public is currently looking at. Is this the most recent revision? No, it's not. That means that there is a more recent version of this content than the one that we are currently looking at. I can unpublish this revision if I would like, but then there will not be a published version of the content, so the public won't see any About page at all if I do this. Of course, the About page will still exist for me, and I can go back and publish it again later when I'm ready to. So aside from clicking on this Apply button on the View Draft page, the other tools that you have here are in order to publish your page are under your edit draft form 
and this Moderate tab right here. So first, let me quickly show you what's under Edit Draft. And you can do this when you're first creating your revision as well. You don't actually need to send your draft into a draft state. You can immediately replace the, public, the published public version when you are doing your edits if you would like to. I don't recommend it because it's always a good idea to look at the draft and make sure you like it before you do so. But if I want to do so, all I have to do is before I hit save, if I click on publishing options where I'm allowed to promote my item to the front page or make it sticky or add a revision log, here I'll say adding an image to create a message. This is always just helpful under moderation. And now down here under moderation state, I can change draft to published right here. And if I do that and then I click save, this version will replace the public version of this content. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now at the top it says revision state is published. This is the most recent revision. That view draft tab has disappeared, so I only have view published and new draft because there is not currently a draft waiting to be made public. And I can see my image. Now obviously I didn't fix this little detail and that's fine. The other tool that I have here is this moderate tab right here. So this particular change that I made did create an error and maybe I know how to fix it quickly and I'm going to go ahead and do so, but maybe I don't and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I need to quickly revert this content because I can't have this error displaying on my site, so I need to revert it while I figure out what's going on. Well, that can easily be done under the Moderate tab. And this is where you can see the history of your content. If you have a draft version, you will have a row here that is red, and the draft version will allow you to apply publication to the draft version right here. The red row will be immediately under the green one, because the green one is your published version. But if I want to immediately pop back to the last revision because I don't want that error that I'm already seeing, then what I can go ahead and do, and actually this revision right here, there's a couple revisions from today because I was already playing with this for the purposes of this demonstration. So what I want to do is pop all the way back to the revision from August 15th rather than using any of these versions. So I'm going to go ahead and find the 15th of August. I can view this one if I want to, but in this case I'm just going to revert right back because I know that's what I need to do. So if I click revert, it'll ask me to put in a message about why I'm doing so. And I'm just going to give them an indication so that I have a record or my colleagues have a record of why a change was made. And then I see that my new version is the one that is going to be public. And if I click on View Published right here, I now see the version of the content that doesn't have the image in it. And I can go ahead and start working on a new draft again from here or I can go ahead and go back to this one that I was working on, view it and revert it, and then from there try to make that image work correctly when I'm ready. While this seems a little bit more complicated than simply being able to click edit, make your edits, and save, what this does for you is it creates a log of the work that's been done, it tells you if you're good about keeping log messages, why the changes have been made, and it allows you to work on things with some kind of a review process if you'd like so, if you'd like to do so, or to just work on things slowly um, and make your changes while you're trying to figure out the formatting that you want while keeping something public that is usable.